Greetings everyone. Banu Patra brings to you the news highlights of 13th October 2022. Starting with the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court has held that there is no bar on the high courts to hear matters pertaining to the issue of stray dogs in the country and clarified that an earlier order of the Supreme Court on November 18, 2015 did not intend for all proceedings before the high courts to come to a standstill. The court has held that positive action proximate to the time of suicide on the part of the accused which led or compelled the deceased to commit suicide should be established for conviction under section 306 of the Indian Penal Code. The court has held that the inherent powers under section 482 of CRPC can be exercised by a high court to direct further investigation or even reinvestigation in an appropriate case. The court while directing that no one should be prosecuted under section 66A of Information Technology Act 2000 which was struck down as unconstitutional by the court in 2015 in the Shreya Singhal case has issued directions to ensure that reference to section 66A is removed from all pending cases. The court while refusing to grant urgent listing for the matter pertaining to bursting of green crackers on Diwali has stated that the matter shall be dealt with by the Delhi High Court. The court has held that there is no bar in taking on record a counter claim filed long after filing of written statement but before framing of issues news from the high courts starting with the delhi high court the delhi high court has dismissed the plea moved by e abubakar former chairperson of popular front of india for bail on medical grounds who was arrested by the national investigation agency and has been in custody since september 22 The High Court took exception to the manner of functioning of the Controller General of Patents Designs and Trademarks and observed that if ease of doing business in India has to be truly achieved acts of negligence on the part of the Controller General are unpardonable. The High Court has held that it is the foremost duty of the court to carefully give a purposeful meaning to the words and logical interpretation to the language used in a will to infer and draw the real intention of the testator. The High Court has held that the mere use of the word can in an arbitration clause does not render it ineffective and the intention of the parties to go for arbitration is to be determined on a complete reading of all the relevant clauses. The High Court has held that a confirming party to a contract who is not bound by the terms of such contract and on whom no liability is affixed therein can be referred to arbitration even if he is not a signatory to the arbitration clause of the contract news from other high courts the kerala high court while expunging sexually provocative dress remark of cozy code sessions court while granting anticipatory bail to accused in sexual harassment case has held that while the reason cannot be justified the order granting bail by the sessions court cannot be set aside The Calcutta High Court has directed the State Pollution Control Board as well as the state police authorities to prevent the importation and sale of firecrackers other than green firecrackers bearing QR codes in any place in the state of West Bengal. The Bombay High Court while granting bail to a businessman accused of duping investors under Maharashtra Protection of Interest of Depositors in Financial Establishments Act 1999 has held that the gravity of his offence cannot be a reason to deny him benefit under section 436A of the CRPC. That is all for today. Thank you so much.